Hi guys, there is here a tester we use in electronics. It's a cold cathode fluorescent lamp tester. Let's learn how to use it. I got this tester about five years ago in eBay. It came without the adapter. I had to add it myself. It's 12 volts anyway. It's very easy to use guys but it applies some rules and we have to be careful about it because this is a high voltage generator so we have to follow a procedure to turn it on in that case we have to set all the connections first and make sure everything is right before to turn it on or to power it it comes with two adapters I'm removing them right now Either one of the outputs is OK and only have to be powered. And if the lamp we are using is OK, it will turn on. If it doesn't, it will be off. This kind of testers is great for laptop leads, screen, for computer monitor, or for TV cold cathode fluorescent lamps like this one, we are going to use this TV with 8 lamps for some videos in this channel. I'm using one of the adapters as you watch it. And sorry guys, in order to perform this kind of testing, I have to turn off the light. We will see the reflex of the lamp through the holes behind the TV every time I'm doing a testing. Now I'm testing 8 lamps one by one. Please pay attention that the reflex of the light is not uniform in all the holes. In the beginning of this testing, we couldn't see the light in the upper holes. If you pay attention now, in the lower holes, we cannot watch any light soon. Another thing is, in order to perform a good testing, I'm just fast and furious to not make a worried uh, video but we have to leave it on for a while just to make sure everything is okay it's a very fast way to troubleshoot something to find out if i'm interested to search in this area or if i want to discriminate this area and focus in somewhere else where the failure could be when i'm doing the electronics troubleshooting as i said it's good for TVs, computer monitors, laptop screens, it's a special tool that we must have for service in the workbench or the lab. Also guys, pay attention to this because the fact that we can watch the reflex of the light through the holes doesn't mean exactly that if we turn the TV we can see anything on the screen. The reason is because the screen is polarized and it will not let the light to come out. That's it, was a short video. Thanks guys by watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to subscribe and to give a like and we will be doing more videos about electronics and electronics repairing. See you next time.